kidding me right now? Well, that's awesome. So after about a year of sitting in the spot of death and then behind the garage, we've got the Cadillac back in the garage. And no, it's not to rebuild or get her going or anything like that. She's always been for parts. That's what I got this thing for. We actually snagged the rear end out of it for the Suburban that we picked up for cheap. It needs the rear end. And then we're also going to yank the interior out of it for the rent truck and get the doors ready to come off and that type of stuff. Basically, it's just been sitting in the back being used as a storage for crap and things. And the interior is full of, well, the back part of the interior is full of parts and pieces for stuff. So yeah, good truck, but uh, with, the, with the damage that it had, Good truck but with the damage that it had it just wasn't worth it to fix it for me for what they're actually uh worth so you know we stole the motor out for the subaru we've got the interior going to the ramp truck and then we've got the rear end going to the suburban which the suburban's in nice shape and for what i paid for it it'll work just fine so we're gonna uh get this thing up in the air get the rear end tore out of it and then we'll go from there so yeah the uh, inside of the lens <laughs> fogged up. I've never had that happen before. So you guys just missed, uh, you know, God knows how much of that. That sucks. Well, I basically loosened everything. You guys missed it. And uh, I'm going to set it back on the ground and we'll roll her out. And then I'll go jump the Suburban and get it to come up in here. So yeah. That's fun. All right, so we got the Suburban in, and right off the bat, you'll notice that you can't see anything because the door's open. All right, so you'll, like I said, notice that it is in way better shape as far as rust goes for the, uh, for the rear end portion of it than the other one. Unfortunately, this one is missing an exhaust and some other things that we already knew about, but. Those are all things that are fixable. I believe. Now if I just lift this and fall apart. I believe being the keyword. So yeah, we got the uh, rear end out. We just got to swap the, do basically the last little bit I did, pull the uh, seven or eight bolts out, drop the rear end out on that one out there, roll it in here, put it up underneath here, bolt it in. But we'll, uh, I'm not gonna show you guys pulling the one out there because there's no reason to see that again, but I'll show you when we gotta put it back in. All right, so we got the new one. Now we just gotta uh, swap a few things over and put it in. Alright, so our simple rear end swap has turned into a rear end, both front brake lines, both bleeders, no, one bleeder, one caliper, and a drive shaft. Is that about it? Exhaust. Yeah, and the exhaust was rotted off, so we stole the one from the ramp truck, because where it's going, we don't need exhaust. Uh, yeah, so that was fun.
nice part is we stole everything off the uh, ramp truck. So, or not the ramp truck. Well, the Cadillac, which is going to be part for the ramp truck. So, it's the whole reason why we bought this. And realistically, I mean, how much do you think in money and parts that we've taken off the Cadillac? Just for this? Just for this. Like actual, not including the tires. Because those brake lines are what? 100 bucks a piece? Yeah. Easily 100 bucks. That's probably 200 bucks. For what? Yeah, axle shaft. We got that rear end from the junkyard. It's three hundred. Yeah, three hundred bucks for the for the rear axle. Yeah, that adds up quick. Which, if you add all that together, is about what I paid for the whole Cadillac. Yeah. And the things I were stealing the whole interior for the Ram truck, and I already stole the motor and its whole exhaust for the Subaru. Poor thing. That little thing is given back. We're recycling. With these shitty cars, it will live on. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get that in. Uh, that's basically the last thing we gotta do is put that on, put the brake on, bleed it, and that's it. Yeah, I need to break the brake more for the five on. So yeah, hopefully in the next hour or so we'll have this thing on the ground and uh, we'll get it on the road. See what it does, see how good of a truck it is. We might sell it we might keep it i don't know exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna feel it out see how it does first there we go i figure we'll take it down the track once and then we'll maybe go have some fun hey you know what i didn't hear when we made the turn a whole lot of clunking clunking and banging well i don't like high speeds the camera I oh <laughs> I was like, really? What do you know? What do you notice that I don't notice? <laughs> I was looking at the camera all of a sudden and it just, you sped up and it went haze. And I was like, oh, oh. Like, can't even see the road. It's just blurry. It like I said, it feels a little lumbering, but it's a 2000s suburban. I said, and the shocks felt okay. Well, they're... that's the thing, the, the steering is really light. Like there is not a lot of input needed to, to for it to kind of do what it needs to do which is a good thing yeah i wouldn't know what that's like i drive a dodge so there's nothing light about my steering so yeah she just gets up and goes and does what she's supposed to all right so the heat and defrost seems to work just fine AC we know is not going to work currently because of the uh, the belt shredded on it. She's coming up to temp just fine. A little low on gas. Even but old gas and it just being, you know. So it smelled kind of crappy. And but she's running good. But it fired right up. It's got plenty of pickup. It's not like it's misfiring or anything. No, it's running smooth. Like, I'll goose it coming out of here. This spot's always easy to burn out at. Your CD player doesn't work, though. No. It errors every time. Well, either that or it doesn't like Nickelback. I thought we were listening to it when we pulled it in. I think we did, but it doesn't like it now. No, nope. she's, she's got good tires on it. Good tires, and I don't think she's got quite that much balls. But brakes feel good, which after all the brake work we've done is a <laughs> that's a win. This is a good little truck. I'd daily this. Um, this thing is a gem, dude. When I move that creeper. What do you think? I like it. And hey, it comes better. It comes with an owner's manual, which Joe's truck didn't even come with. What? Yeah, Joe didn't get a uh, owner's manual. So when he, um, when they, <laughs> when he cleaned out the Challenger, he freaking stole the jack and shit. Light duty truck warranty and owner assistance information. Yeah. I think that was all on the dash. I yanked it at one point for some reason. I tell you, it comes with three fucking keys. Not that I need them, but... 
It's either three <laughs> keys or it's two keys and two, three uh, fobs. I don't remember something like that. I think it was three fobs. I think I remember seeing that when we bought it. Yeah. But it looks like you can probably put anything in there. Is that the back? What is it? Back wipers working? Yeah. No way. That works. That's that's cool. Oh, oh shut up. I didn't try this. Oh yeah, is it hot? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that's awesome. And then you got your garage door openers. This thing is mint. Yeah, it's too fancy for me. I can't have it. I don't have a garage. <laughs> yeah. But the only thing that's broken is that stupid rear entertainment. Oh, infotainment thing, which... Yeah, which... Or garbage anyway. Yeah, nothing... I mean, that would all got redone anyhow. Because... Or will get redone. obsolete. And this old thing. Yeah. None of the none of the infotainments in this thing. Doesn't look like it ever was. Yo, that muffler sounds really good for uh downturn. Yeah, she's quiet. I didn't even try the seat over there. I don't even know if it's power. They didn't mess with it. It is. What's up, puppers? What you this? think? It's a little sticky in there. Watch where you put your hands. Put your weed in there. <laughs> oh, it stinks. All right, so that's definitely a win. Um, it definitely stunk when we fired her up. Oh, it's like hazy in here. So yeah, we're gonna clean up and uh, call it a day. That thing was uh, definitely a win. We'll uh, realistically, what? We gotta do a fender, the hood, the grill, and the bumper. And that's about all. And we have all those parts. It's all leftover parts from the Catalanche, or not the Catalanche, the uh, Ram truck, so. Yeah, we'll keep you guys updated and uh, going with that project, and that might, looks like that might be sticking with the family here. <laughs> yeah, that might actually work out. Yeah. Unlike the other one I bought. The other the ones. Yeah. Yeah. His cheap uh, budget drivers have not worked out, but this one... This one has got a good, solid chance. Yeah, this one looks like it might work. You know why this one's so good? It's because I had everything to do with it. But, all right, so appreciate you guys. We'll uh, see you in the next one, and uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.